Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thanks for tuning in. Tonight we are back with another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday and one of my personal favorite sets ever, the pretty awesome legendary 91 Bowman set, right in the heart of the Junk Wax era, but so many good rookie cards can be found in here. Um, Hall of Famers, stars, you name it, they're in here from that era. A lot of the 91 sets excluded most of the rookies. Some of them ended up in traded sets or update sets and things of that nature. But Bowman mashed them all in together. So hopefully we see quite a few of those. And tonight's break is made possible by fellow YouTuber and friend Gourmade. Justin Gore over at Gourmade Breaks. He actually just posted a video a little bit ago with some pretty um, breakthrough news. Uh, so go check him out. I linked his channel down in the description. He does the exact same thing we do over here. He does old cards. He does a lot of modern stuff and breaks and whatnot. But this break tonight is made possible in courtesy of Justin Gore. So thank you and shout out to you, Justin. Please check him out. And let's get down to ripping 91 Bowman and see if we can find some of these legendary rookies. Pudge Rodriguez, Jeff Bagwell, Jim Tomei, Chipper Jones, Mike Mussina. So many to name in this set let's see if we can find them 704 cards these boxes have gradually increased in price over the last few years i remember being able to buy a box of these for 10 bucks maybe a year and a half two years ago now they're about 50 a piece they're definitely going up and um like i said it's primarily because of all of the good rookie cards that can be found in here people buying them up Ripping them, sending them into PSA. Mike Mussina PSA 10 is pretty low pop. Um, those are around $100, a little over $100 for PSA 10 of Mussina. Shipper Jones is around like $75. Bucks. So starting off, we got the, oops, <laughs> a little discombobulated there. The top left is TX Breaks. So we are starting off with you. Nine packs, 14 cards per pack. I love this, this design, and we, of course, have a stick of gum in here. These ones are a little difficult to open, so thank you guys for being here. Let's see who we can find in here. This is definitely a sleeper set. Like I've been saying for a while, these boxes were so cheap for the longest time, and the gum looks actually pretty decent. Let's see what we can find here. Check the design out. Relatively simple design. Very first pack, Tim Salmon rookie card. Not one of the names we mentioned, but there are so many to mention Tim Salmon Rookie, this one looks pretty nice. And the Julio Franco, like League Leaders card. You have several of those in here. Mickey Morandini. Dave Shaw, thanks, man. Very basic design with that uh, very bland looking back that Bowman was known for in his first few years. But love these cards. Love this set. Terry Pendleton. Mean mugging, but first pack, Tim Salmon. Nice one there. I like that one a lot. Todd R says, swallow that gum. <laughs> People always get angry whenever I do that, so I've kind of taken a hi hiatus from the gum. Mr. Blood Vessels has just bought six packs of these from eBay. That's awesome. Hey, T-Dog Shea, what's happening? Everyone is shouting for me to eat it. I hope you're happy. All right, let's see what we got in the second pack for Rob. CLG, what's happening? Love this set. Rookie hunting. So much fun. And I mean, these are still relatively inexpensive. 50 bucks, you can get yourself a box. There's good old Rock Reigns. Robert Einhorn. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. Lance Parrish. Did I just hear a tooth chip? This one actually, this gum is good. It's not liquid yet, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> Corey. And then, um, I forgot to mention, too, stick around because later on we're giving away this Luis Robert rookie card that we pulled a couple days ago out of a blaster box. I told you guys we would do it on Tuesday, and I almost forgot about it. So we're doing that. Ryan Beach, did I see, did I see the new Ghostbusters toys at Walmart? There's several that have come out. You mean the re-releases? There's like the re-release Kenners, and then there's like uh, another line out now that I haven't seen yet, actually. Gary Scott, MVP. Very weird-looking card of him. Almost looks like a cartoon character. Ronnie Walden. Kevin Apier. Sammy Sosa in his second year. James Reynolds says, dude, you eating gum again? Yeah, everyone dared me to. <laughs> what better reason? 
Gary Scott was an MVP, Paul says. So Tim Salmon shows up early. Let's see if we can find some of these other. There's Juan Gonzalez. I used to be real stoked on that card. Gourmet's in here. What's up, buddy? Says the gum goes from crunchy to crumbly to dust to gone. This is actually holding up somewhat good. I'm very surprised. Very surprised by that. Juan Gonzalez MVP card, second year. Kurt Stillwell. There's definitely some interesting photography in this set, too. And I'm sure some players that some of us have never heard of before. We had salmon for dinner. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of preservatives mixed into this gum because it's still solid. I'm trying to crunch on it. I'm kind of just trying to savor the flavor of 1991. What's up, Boom Slang? You're just in time. Bob Wickman, rookie, coming up here. Dennis Eckersley. Delano the Shields, shout out to Corey who PCs and Paul Russo, MVP, and Bob Wickman rookie card. He had some good years. It's a pretty cool car. I like that one. Mark Wollers, Steve Hosey, Greg Carmona, Cliff Young, Dan Howitt, and Mike Timlin. Joe's Card Corral is here. Says, Hi, I'm looking for Ray Finkel on a clean pair of shorts. Laces out. Die, Dan. Joe's card crawl. Good to see you, man. Thank you very much. I wasn't sure if we would see you or if you were still trapped in the seventh guest world in that realm. Really appreciate that, man. Joe's card crawl. I'm looking for a video for you, from you pretty soon here, man. I know you've been kind of cooped up in the house for a while, so I've been keeping an eye out for it. Robert Rathman, what's happening? Jeremy Starks, as I remember ripping 90 Leaf looking for Sosa and Frank Thomas rookies. Yeah, I love 90 Leaf. That set is awesome. Alvin Davis, Jack Armstrong, Domingo Moda, who I don't think really ever made, I don't even think he made the majors before. I don't think he was ever called up. Melito Perez, shout out to Jonathan H. Jeff Tackett always had interesting looking cards. Jody Reed. And Pat Lennon, Austin Farmer. What's up, buddy? We have three packs left. TX Breaks. Yeah, Stadium Club definitely had great photography. Yeah, Gourmet has some pretty interesting news, and I wish you all the best, Justin. That's pretty amazing. You're doing great things. Please, like I said, check out Justin Gore. Give him a sub if you're not subbed to him. Great dude. Brian Beach has just bought the 90 Leaf set for 45 bucks. That's awesome, man. Definitely a good pickup. Rod Crew has several of these cards in this set. I think he has five different ones. Different photography. Kyle Ripken base card is a nice one. Dave Magadan. Eric Davis, Sheffield, Hebe Brooks. I gotta spit this gum out. It is absolutely filthy. And things are breaking. All right. Two packs left. Jerry says, bought my first trout rookie day Bowman draft for 75 bucks. That's awesome, man. Congrats on picking that up. Not to go get more fast breaks. <laughs> yeah, that's a terrible taste in my mouth. Two packs left. Eric Karos, rookie card, is going to be in this stack. James Reynolds says, hey, John, how come I can't download your live streams? I don't know, man. I have no idea. Terry Kennedy. <laughs> that's a funny looking card here. Felix Jose, Eric Hansen. Eric Karos, rookie. Another nice one you can pull out of here. Second to last pack. Salmon and Karos now puck it. Still a lot of people at PC, Puckett, Donovan Osborne, Glenn Davis, Jeremy Burnett. It's actually his rookie card. And Tony Scruggs. That sounds like a fake name. Todd R says, pick up the Tatis rookie cards now. I couldn't believe it, man. I picked up the PSA 10 uh, Chrome Tatis that I have sitting next to me. I picked that up, like, what was that, a month ago or three weeks ago or something like that for 80 bucks. It was like an auction I won. And I saw ones recently sold on eBay, like, in the last day or two for, like, almost 300 I was like, wow, that's crazy that it's jumped that high so quickly. Final pack for Rob, TX Breaks. I don't know if you're in here or not, Rob, but I know you haven't made a video either. Hopefully you come back from your hiatus at some point. Pack wrappers fall over the place. But uh, good luck in this last pack. Let's see what we can get. Jason Carter, shout out to your uh, niece, Isabella. Thank you guys for being here and watching. Jimmy Key, Travis Fromm in second year, Cecil Fielder. Rene Gonzalez, Mark Leonard, Stan Spencer, John Allrude, a second-year card for him, too. And, of course, Chris Sabo. 
<laughs> oh, that is an epic shot of him. I love that card. Epic. Jeff Johnson, Ted Power. Man, nice uh, last pack hit there. Legendary Chris Sabo, who I hope to see some point soon for a break. And there's Rob Meeks TX Break says, thanks, John. Rob, thank you for being here and participating, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you get back to making videos here sometime soon. You're definitely opening a lot of cool stuff. Top right, we are going to see Brian Z. Brian Z, the next nine. I see, I don't know if he's in here or not, but... Um, Let's uh, wish him luck and see what we can find. <laughs> yeah, the shrapnel just piles up. It's going to be a huge pile by the end of this. Got to love it. Got to love this uh, this set. Barry Bonds, pretty big set, though, so it's not really, it's not super easy to pull these cards. Kirk Gibson, creepy little smile on his face. Rod Crew, number three. Willie Smith, Jeff Russell. Bob Walk, shout out to Joe's Card Corral. Doug Drabeck. And David Howard, nothing else too notable in that pack. Moving right along. Barry Bonds in that first pack was nice, so I like that card. Gourmet says, I love the foil, the silver foil inserts in there. Those are awesome. I've always liked those too. I hate how you have to go through half the pack and divide it up, and then it gives away the best cards. Nolan Ryan, base card, very, very nice. Nolan Ryan was always known for having like the first card of most a lot of sets that he was in. But uh, cool horizontal card of him. Not too many people were... Special enough to get horizontal cards in this set, as you can tell. Hector Rivera, Tom Bolton, Mark Leiter, Kurt Young, Jesse Holland. So, a lot of guys that didn't really go on to do very much. There's Doug O'Shea. It says, been a while. Thanks for your entertainment. Doug O'Shea, thanks a lot, man. It's good to see you again. I was actually wondering uh, how things have been with you, because I feel like I haven't seen you in the live streams in a while. Hope all is well, man. Really appreciate that. Very, very nice of you. that gum off there luckily the gum is chipping right off it's not um severe damage like it is in like 81 don russ mark newfield this is a pretty hot card back in 91 i definitely remember having that in at least a top loader maybe a four screw down case mike huff dan peltier checklist card nice ken griffey jr base so brian z you're doing pretty good so far barry bonds base nolan ryan now the kid pretty awesome Wilf wilfredo cordero it's actually his rookie Chris James and Brooke Jacoby ends that pack. And there's Mark R. His new Patreon member. Can I get in on the break? Mark R., thanks a lot, man. I appreciate the support. This break is actually sold out already, but uh, the next one will be posted this coming weekend. I try to stay consistent with posting the breaks, but they're usually on uh, Saturday or Sunday. And then the next one we have coming up is actually going to be 96 Finest. that will be listed uh, sometime this week. Really appreciate your support, man. Thank you very much. A box of this is selling for about 50 bucks nowadays. They've gradually increased, but uh, like I was saying earlier, I remember buying boxes of these for 10 bucks, and then they were around like 20 to 30 for a while, and then they've just spiked up to um, 50 now, around 50. Mark Grace, Dave Martinez, Dave Park, and Jose Akendo. And Zap Pack. And we got Chris and Chris collecting cards. Says, love your channel. My son and I opened a box of these on our channel a couple weeks ago. Hopefully you have the same luck. Thanks a lot. Chris and Chris, shout out to you. Really appreciate that. Please check out their channel. Give them a sub. Show them some support. I don't know if I saw that video or not. I definitely want to go check it out, though. I always like watching people rip open boxes of these because um, the rookies always seem to show up. And speaking of rookies, there's Kenny Lofton's rookie card. Pretty awesome. Love that one. Very, very crisp and pristine loft and a little bit off center, but um, very, very nice looking. I feel like these cards, they usually come out of the packs pretty solid. George Brett, Colin Powell. Remember that uh, card was kind of popular back in 91 during Desert Storm. Ken Daly, Pete Incavilla with a poop stain on his shoulder, and Willie Randolph. Let's see, and we can cop on the stream here. Seth Collector says, you passed my cousin late extra. That's pretty crazy. It's your cousin. The auctions, Mark R., the auctions are, um, those were open to everybody. So I think I may do something in the future where I do like, um, I don't know, a free shipping tier or something like that. Include that in the auctions. 
I hope to do a modern one. Um, maybe this week, actually. I have, a, I have a bunch of modern cards, rookies and stuff like that, that um, I'm going to sell off. Steve Carsey and Kefili struck out every <laughs> bat, it seemed like. Kurt Schilling, pretty early on in his cocky career. Sam Militello, MVP. Frank Thomas, base. It's a nice one. Larry Walker, second-year card for him. Very cocky Brian Drahman. Howard Johnson, Willie Green, Shane Mack. Never cared for him for whatever reason. Alan Anderson and John Habian. So, no sign of any rookies in there. Cheswick's in here. Says, hey, John and Mods, can you see this text? Yep, I can see it, man. Gourmet, thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate that. Once again, please check out Gourmet's channel. It is linked in the description down below. And good luck to you, Gore, man. Hope to talk to you before you take off here in a few days or... I think it's, what, two weeks or something like that. Final three packs here for Brian Z. Jimmy Key, Travis Fryman, kind of a repeat pack here. Todd Gugiana. <laughs> well, there was something with him recently. It looks like he's, like, foaming at the mouth in that car. It's weird. <clears throat> Luis De Los Santos. Craig Biggio. He always had a nice smile to him on his cards. Never really got caught off guard too much. Robbie Beckett. And <clears throat> head back. Steve Rodemacher. This is last week in, in Wisconsin in Antique Mall. I got three boxes of 91 Stadium Club of each series. And two boxes of 91 Leaf of each series at 10 bucks a box. That's awesome, man. I'd say you got some pretty good deals. All those boxes seem to continue to rise in price and whatnot. I appreciate that, Steve Rodemacher. I know I'm subbed to you already, but you're not subbed to Steve Rodemacher. Check him out. He's been posting a lot more videos lately. I feel like he is always in the live streams, too. I really appreciate you being here and for your support, man. 91 Stadium Club can be kind of tough, though, because I know those cards are notorious for bricking up. So hopefully, and I just gave away a key card here, hopefully they are not bricked up for you, man. So most of you guys probably saw it. One of the best cards we can pull out of here just showed up. Rod Carew, Chipper Jones, rookie card. What a beautiful sight that is. One of the best cards you can pull out of here. Like I said before, PSA is around 75 bucks. I don't really know what that would grade out at. It looks like it might be a tiny bit off, but um, I don't send cards to PC, PSA, and I don't really know that much about it, so I'm no grader, but that's definitely a good-looking card regardless. Sharp corners, a little bit of gum on there, but uh, beautiful, beautiful. Love that card. Chipper Jones, rookie, finally shows up. Robin Ventura, Brett Boone, rookie card. Another pretty decent one there. I like that card. And Otis Nixon, who actually has an error card in 91 Stadium Club. And goes on to the last pack. Chipper Jones, nice hit there. Bagwell is indeed in this set. So we are still looking for Jim Tomei, Mike Mussina, Pudge Rodriguez, Jeff Bagwell. You have Javi Lopez in here. There are so many. So many good guys in this, uh, in this set. And like I was saying before, like in not, most 91 sets, these freaking packs are difficult to open. Um... Most 91 sets, you usually just have Chipper Jones and maybe Mike Mussina, and that's it. And the update sets, the traded sets, some of them made it in there and some didn't. It's kind of all around, but 91 Bowman, you have a chance at all of these guys, which is pretty freaking awesome. So I'm trying to get caught up on this, on this chat. I feel like I missed some things. El Kanan is in here. And El Kanan says, 100 watching, only 28 likes. We can do better, crew. Hit that like button. I never collected this set because the, the Rockies weren't a team until 93. Good luck all. El Kanan, thanks a lot, man. Really appreciate that. I remember being so pumped when Rockies cards were first produced. I think it was 92 Don Russ. They did like a special uh, card for the Rockies and the Marlins both. And then 93 came out, and then like 93 upper deck. They were in that set, and Nigel Wilson was in there, and I was flipping out about that card as a kid. Really appreciate that, El Kanan. I know you've been doing a lot more videos lately. Please uh, post a link to his channel, Corey. Corey's got you. And get him a sub. Um, I think he is hes getting close to 600 right around there. Carlton Fist, Denny Nagel. Elkanon, thank you for being here. Appreciate you uh, being with us. Jimmy Moyer ends that stack off of Brian Z. But uh, nice Chipper Jones in there. Like I said, Gore made made his break possible. So each stack was practically free. Minus shipping. And that takes us to the bottom of the left. Sugar-coated strawberries. Uh, Daryl Strawberry's cards are hot right now. They are on the rise. Bottom left, we have Chris R. Yeah, 50 a box. That's And it's like, 
You, you better get them now because it just seems like they keep going up. I'd like to get a cello box, but cello boxes are super rare, even though I saw one sell on Mercari yesterday for 20 bucks. I think it was 20 bucks plus $10 shipping, but amazing deal for a cello box, 24 packs. <laughs> Headlock says John's table is going to look like Tony Montana. <laughs> you can see it. Yeah, you can definitely see it all. <laughs> this one, these packs aren't even that bad. Like if you do, if you would open 89 Fleer, this entire area would be covered in dust. Jerome Walton, Dale Murphy, he looks like a very painstaking look on his face. There's a Strawberry League Leaders with the foil bats. Chipper Jones, rookie again. First pack, Chris R. You have some good luck, man. This one looks pretty much identical to the one we just pulled out of like the, what, two packs ago. Very, very nice. Chipper Jones. Love that card. He looks he looks really old in that shot. I don't know what it is. Like the wrinkles on his face or something like that. Looks a lot like my, um, one of my uncles who's no longer with us. Pretty crazy. I just now realized that. But what a nice hit. Chipper Jones, rookie, in the very first freaking pack, Chris. Congrats, man. Love it. Love that card. Dirk Remington's here. The $4.20 Super Chat. Good luck to everyone. Dirk, thanks, man. Good to see you. Where are you out traveling to today, man? It seems like you're in a different part of the country every single time that we talk on here. Hopefully buying up all the 90 tops before they just continue to go up sky high and through the roof. Obsessed Collectors, I'm waiting for the day I hit the flea market and pick up a box of 91 tops and ends up being Desert Shield. I hope for that day too, man. I think that every single time that I see 91 tops, John Smoltz, which is fun. Steve Finley, Don Robinson, another Brett Boone rookie card. Dave Fleming, that's actually his rookie. I was stoked on that one as a little kid. Bo Dodson and Darren Dalton. Like the small bat. So Chipper in the first pack. So no Bagwell, no Podge, no Mucina, no Tome yet. But I am hopeful we'll find something. Austin says, for all 90 tops, John is bought. I'm sure, I'm sure he probably could have bought a no name on front single. All for the love of the chase. Yeah, that's... I've thought about that before, too. The no name on fronts, even the single cards, I wouldn't buy one unless it was uh, authenticated by like PSA or something like that just because of the counterfeits. I feel like the counterfeits are pretty easy to tell. There's a... Very creepy smile on Jose Lean. I would have been stoked about that. Eddie Murray. Yeah, the no name on front, Thomas, like the top left corner, is a dead giveaway on the reprints. Jeff Conine, it's actually his rookie card. John Marzano. Hector Rivera. Scott Taylor, Tom Bolton, and Mark Lager. 2011 update trout reprint for 20 bucks. Yeah, I believe those probably sell pretty good. Yeah, you got to be careful on those reprints. I mean, they look so... Unless you're physically holding them in your hand, you can feel them side by side. Like, they make reprints for freaking everything. Like, 8 on per deck, Dale Murphy, reverse negative, reprint. John Littlefield, 82 Fleer, reverse negative, reprint. Like, the Johnny Ray, 87 Don Russ opening day, there's reprints out there. And there is no identifier or way to signify the difference between the two of them, maybe unless, like, the card stock. That is it. Yeah, there's no fool on the reprint. I know... I remember Eric bought one of those on eBay, and there, it was... Uh, or wasn't foil on it. I think he ended up getting his money back for it. Marquise Grissom, big name from this time. Eddie Murray, Jeff Montgomery, kind of like uh, strutting and stuff and loving it. <laughs> Jose Viscani, Pudge Rodriguez, rookie. Sweet. We found the Pudge. Love that card. This one is definitely cut. Not the best, but uh, freaking cool card, though. Love that one. Hall of Famer, Pudge Rodriguez. So many of them. Just chalked all through the set. Reed Cornelius looking like the guy from Powder. Albert Bell and Move On. <clears throat> Second year Move On. Hall of Fame rookie card spree. Hopefully they're all coming. PTB Chris is in here. Yeah, man, you're definitely doing good. Chipper Jones now, the Yvonne Rodriguez. Pudge before he's pudgy. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely gotta call him Yvonne in this year. Before he packed on the pounds. All right, we got, what, five packs left. We're doing good. Bond should be in the hall since Pudge is. I couldn't agree with you more, man. Two scary hitters right there. Albert Bell was a mean dude. He definitely was, Corey. Bob Melvin, Kelly Downs, Tony Pena, Sandberg, Foil Bats, Terry Shumpert, Mike Scott, 
Tina Martinez, Vaughn Calderon, Greg Colburn, and Kent Merker. And the last four. That's very true, Bam. Todd R., yeah, I definitely heard that too. But I know a guy who's from Pennsylvania that um, <clears throat> bought a box in Pennsylvania in 1990, and he pulled that card out of a cello box just recently. He's been sitting on a box forever. So I don't know. It's tough to – people. there's different people saying different things, so – Never really fully know, but I've, I've always heard Michigan. Rod Carew, I think just one pallet made it out or a half pallet made it out with uh, that card in it, and that's it. Bobby Witt, Chuck Finley, Bernard Gilkey. <laughs> oh, man. Thomas Howard. Oh, the Omens are out. El Conanza, man, my buddies from college have gotten back into collecting for my channel. It's so fun to be able to talk cards with them. That's freaking awesome, man. That is freaking awesome. I'm happy to hear that. I wish I can get some of my like childhood friends back into collecting again. But um, that ship has sailed, I think. No escape from Gil Gilkey. There definitely is no escape. Joe's car crosses Kent Merker and Scott Scudder are actually the same person. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely see it. I could definitely see it. I never cared for either one of them, especially Scott Scudder, and um, especially recently. And Dirk Remington says he's in Rockville, Maryland, hunting for cards. Anything good down there, man? I don't know if I've ever been to Rockville. Sid Bream. Mike Musina rookie. Chris Ramirez. You were hitting them all. The Musina rookie. This definitely wouldn't be graded out of 10. But, uh, yeah, low pop on the 10s for him. About 110, 115 bucks, it seems like, um, on his rookies. What is stuck to that? Something stuck to it, but... Okay, there we go. Awesome card, though. Love Musina. Barry Larkin. So, and Phil Plantier. If you still have the mentality from 1991, then you'd be flipping out about that right now. His rookie card, Greg Jeffries. This would be an amazing pack in 91 just for the Greg Jeffries and the, <laughs> the Phil Plantier alone. And it takes us to the last two packs. Criterion Racer, thank you. Really appreciate that, Lee. Always good to have you with us. Hopefully things are all right out your way, man. Pete Shurik, rookie card on the back. And... I got a ton of gum here. I kind of just want to save it all, and I don't know. Todd Van Poppel, rookie card. Dave Owen. Vaughn Hayes, Trammell. Eric Christofferson, another name I don't remember too much. Shane Andrews scratching his back. I was always creeped out by that card. And it looks like we have another key rookie in this pack. Are they all going to be in the bottom left? This is crazy. Wouldn't you know it, Jim Tomei rookie card pops up now. Look at that. That is freaking awesome. Another one that's definitely off center left to right. But uh, Jim Tomei, awesome human being, awesome baseball player, awesome rookie card. I love that one. That's freaking great. John Eriks and Pete Shurek. But uh, freaking sweet, man. You definitely... Hit the jackpot. Stemmers hits his best cards ever. I love this set, man. I really do. John Fishman's here. He says, hello, John. I've been buying Matt Noakes. John Fishman, thanks a lot, man. Matt Noakes is uh, your player of choice lately, I guess. Some people say that um, he was actually, he actually played Corky on Life Goes On. There's definitely some similarities there. Used to love Life Goes On, even though I didn't understand it. But really appreciate that, John Fishman, to let me know if you end up in uh, Altoona sometime soon. Austin Farmer is also, is also here. It says, here's a small percentage towards your next box of Nighty Toffs. Austin, super nice of you, man. I appreciate that, Dave Justice. It seems like you've been making videos again. So please check out our buddy Austin Farmer, who is in here. He's, I feel like he's always here. Raphael Belliard was pretty awful. I don't know how he lasted in the majors as long as he did. And Dean Palmer. And that's the final pack for Chris R. You definitely did really good, man. You did great. <clears throat> a lot of good rookies in your stack. Pudge, Chipper, Mike Mussina, Jim Tomei. <clears throat> Does that mean that they are all siphoned out for Corey's next stack? <laughs> I hope not. Corey is actually putting this set together. Working on it. And Brittany Hayden is here. What is up? Ripping for Ripkins. My good buddy who just hit 600 subs. Congratulations to him. If you're not subbed to Corey, 
He's the guy in here posting all the links to everybody's channel. Please check him out. Help him get to a thousand. First pack, Corey. Good luck to you, man. I don't really know what rookies you even need, but uh, so many good cards in here. And uh, which ones are we missing now? We've missing. Um, I think the last one left is Jeff Bagwell. Jeff Bagwell was the last one left, basically, and there he is. Very first pack. I'd say that is a pretty good start, Corey. Jeff Bagwell's MVP card, and that card is centered up pretty freaking nice. Very, very nice, or as uh, Corey likes to call them, bagpipes. Jeff, Jeff Bagwell rookie card. Chris Hoyle's in the same pack. That's got to be a good sign, man. Greg Smith, Mike Humphreys, William Pennyfeather. That really can't be too much of a good sign. Luis Salazar, Ken Griffey Jr., Pagnozzi, and Mike Balecki. Pretty awesome, though. Definitely a good start. I don't know if you had that bag well or not, but I um, always like seeing that one. Pretty freaking awesome. Let us move right along. PTB Chris says, looks like I picked the right stack. Chris, thanks a lot, man. You definitely did pick a good one. You you got pretty much all of them. And Stemmer's Hits is also here. It says, nine days of straight fun to end out. The summer starting Fridays on Stemmer Hits. I love what you do, John. 35 for 500. John, what every brother weekend guys stemmers hits thanks a lot man always good to have you with us and always enjoy being able to pop into your live streams because you and your son always have such great charisma together and are always opening great stuff and pulling great stuff and you feel like you guys have a permanent hot hand over there at stemmers hits if you haven't checked them out yet please do and let's help them get to 500 subs they are closing in on it very very quickly Glenn Sutko. I was always creeped out by that card, too. Jeff Richardson, Joe Carter, and Ben Rivera. Second pack, kind of a dud there. Corey, appreciate you posting all these links to every channel. Let's uh, keep it moving. Stemmer's Hits definitely does kill it, man. Those, they kill it over there. Definitely have some good luck. All right. Third pack in. I will see my cards on the replay. Hopefully you still the bag. Well, that's pretty awesome. Bernie Williams. <laughs> Excuse me. That is a card that I don't remember. I feel like that's definitely a Mandela effect because I don't remember him ever wearing those dorky glasses. Second year Bernie Williams. A Rod Carew. That, um, this is pretty interesting. Somehow the foil was transferred to the top of the card and it's printed on there. That's pretty neat. Count that as an error card. Jeff Montgomery is shaking his little booty. And Pudge Rodriguez, rookie card. In the third pack, Corey, you're definitely getting some good ones. Off center again. There's got to be a low pop 10 on this, I would think. With two cards now and both off center. Love that card regardless. Very cranky Donovan Osborne and Albert Bell. But still, awesome rookie card regardless. And an awesome shot of Jeff Montgomery. Having the time of his life. Bagwell, Von Rodriguez, let's keep going. Headlock says, doesn't Bernie Williams have the glasses on as a 92 score? I don't think so. I, I can picture that card, but maybe he does. I can't picture his face on it, but I remember his rookie. It was like a rookie prospect card, 92 score. He could. Maybe it's just like so much more noticeable on that card. He's facing the camera. Ryan Sandberg, nice one there. Cranky Mike Devereaux. Barry Jones, Tim Howard, and the cartoon face. Bob Welch has picked up his error card in 89 tops recently with the uh, the no stats and the black boy in the back. One I've wanted for a while. Rex Hudler, first time seeing him. Aaron Holbert and Scott Sanderson. Jay's Openings is here. John Fishman says, going to ladies on Sunday. My dad said there's a guy with a lot of old cards for sale. Then going to see Steve at Juniata. John Fishman, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate your support. One thing I do want to tell you, though, is that um, I would definitely call ladies or ladies, however they pronounce it, ladies. I would call ahead of time because it says on their website that they are closed until 2021 because that's a flea market that we would always hit up, like, I don't know, maybe twice a month in the summertime. And I was pretty pissed off and bummed out because they posted on their website about a month or two ago that they were going to be closed for the entire 2020 season. So before you go there, I don't know how far away you are from there, but I would definitely check and see 
Oh, Antique Depot. Antique Depot is still, but the out, the outdoor flea market Elites, um, I think they're closed until 2021. Henderson, Double Foil Bats, Jimmy Foyer, or <laughs> Jimmy Foyer, Jimmy Moyer. I don't know why I call him that. It's slip of the tongue, I guess. Jim Clancy. Ah, oh, Jimmy Foyer. Bring us some luck in these last four packs. You know, we've had some pretty good luck already. <laughs> Paul L. Jimmy Foyer. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I think I ate too many uh, Reese's Fast Breaks before I got on the live stream. I was, like, going through, like, a chocolate fix, and I need, I need to get my fix, so I had to run to Dollar General real quick. Shove a bunch of those in my mouth before the live stream started. Barry Bonds. I've not seen this one yet. Back to the Future is the best of the three. I love Back to the Future. That's what it looks like people are talking about. Barry Bonds, Bob Walk, Dan Pasqua. We used to hate him. I don't know why. I have to ask Eric about it. Tyler Houston, Matt Young, Ben McDonald with a crazy weird alien glitch on his neck. Freaking hickey. Radioactive hickey Ben McDonald card. Very, very weird. Stemmer's hits. Yeah, there's a couple air cards in here. I don't think there's anything too noticeable. <laughs> Johnson, maybe you had too, too much. Yeah, I think so. Three packs left. I like that Ben McDonald radioactive hickey card, though. That's one of my favorites out of here. Let's see what we have in the last few packs. Jose Offerman rookie card is a big one back then. Edgar Martinez. The, tours, <laughs> the Toy Story aliens came from McDonald's neck. Like the hand on the edge. Um, I don't know about that one. That might be one that uh, I've never heard of before. Jose Offerman, Scott Erickson. I know there's some statistical errors in here. And we have another pretty prominent rookie card. It is Javi Lopez. I used to really like this card. PSA 10, you could pick one of these up for about 30 bucks somewhere in there. This one wouldn't get a 10 because it's off center a little bit. But old JV Lopes, as we used to call him as kids. I'm sure Joe's Card Corral remembers that. J.B. Lopes, and as 91 Classic calls him, Davy Lopez. <laughs> Saw some of those recently. Rick Sutcliffe and Tim Wallach. J.B. Lopes. Love it. I used to love that card, but yeah, PSA 10, that's like 30 bucks. 25, 30 bucks, not bad. Yeah, not Davy like 91 Classic. Javi Lopez definitely was underrated. Hey, Al, Al S. is here. Al from the Stewcast. If any of you guys got a chance to listen to the podcast... That I posted yesterday. There's Al Studer. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. Appreciate you being here, man. Always good to see you. Armando says, hey, I was in a coma for 30 years. I'm pretty sure you're searching for Jose Offerman. I wish that I was searching for Jose Offerman. How cool would that be? To wake up from a coma and go on YouTube and see somebody opening 91 Bowman and think that they're looking for like Todd Van Poppel and Phil Plantier and Jose Offerman. I want to experience that. That sounds awesome. Kind of minus the coma part, but... <laughs> Alan Trammell, Jose Aline, Bobby Bo. Todd Arson, I'm still working on Joe's Francisco Cabrera game-worn jersey. Oh, man. Matt Young. Ben McDonald, radioactive hickey neck again. What is up with that card? I've never seen that before. Or at least I've never noticed it. It seems like that's a blemish on every single freaking card. Hey, Jason, VT Sports Guy, what's going on? That is crazy. I need to look into that further. Scott Erickson and Wade Taylor. Looks like a neighbor kid that we grew up with. I see people quoting Back to the Future, and I feel like I'm missing on the conversation. I'm jealous. Laser rifle to the neck. Cut shaving. Yeah, that could be a variety of things. Last pack, and we're giving away Luis Robert after that. Rookie card for somebody. The <laughs> flesh-eating bacteria. Yeah, definitely the Ben McDonald Ebola card. Yeah, see, these packs were always tricky because you want to rip them open so quick, but if you do that, then you compromise the corners. So, you got to be kind of careful about it. Sid Bream streaking down the home stretch. Luckily, that gum all came off really easily. Unlike 81 Don Russ, is like the filthiest gum I've ever seen. It's just like liquid in the packs already, and like it was a gigantic stick of gum that ruined literally half the card. Javi Lopez, rookie card, again in the last pack. Shout out to you, wherever you are, J.B. Lopes. I love that card. That's a cool one. Earl Cunningham. Rick Sutcliffe. Yeah, Biff Rules. I always want to go meet him at one of these Comic-Cons. Kurt Miller. Chris Hoyles. 
Daryl Strawberry, Chuck Krim, Dave Owen. The final pack, the last few cards, <clears throat> Wayne Edwards, Vaughn Hayes, and Luis Mercedes. Eric Anthony was an absolute mega bust. I remember getting his 90 Don Russ rated rookie card and was so stoked about it. Last uh, pack there for Corey, but I'd say you did pretty well, man. You did better than you usually do. You came out on top pretty good. Next week, I think Chris R. did the best of it. Next week, <clears throat> I don't know how many more times we're going to do Turn Back to Clock Tuesday. I'm going to keep it going forever, but I don't know if we're going to do it weekly anymore or we go to every other week. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I do know that next week we are breaking 96 Finest Series 2, so keep an eye out for that. I'll post that sometime this weekend. And now for the raffle. Appreciate you guys all watching. Luis, Robert, uh, Eli Cards, how much are these boxes? A box is about 50 bucks. Um, I charged everyone 5 bucks for shipping for a spot in this break. I think it was $0.99 cents too on top of that because I posted them on eBay. But it was made possible by Gourmet Breaks. He sponsored... This break, so let me, um, I posted a link to his channel in the description, but before we do this, I want to post it in the live stream, and then we're going to give away this Luis Robert rookie card, but check him out. If you have not checked him out already, like I said, this is made possible by him. We're going to do this via comment generator here, if I can get to it. So stick around, hang tight for one second. Well, I pull this up. All right. All right, Louis Roberts, Lou Bob, rookie, 2020 Series 2 tops. We're giving it away. I pulled a bunch of these recently, so I am trying to pass my good fortune on to you. And we are going to do comment generator already locked in on here so let's go ahead and do it we're going to filter duplicate users and 124 unique commenters so we're going to pick one winner and then pick a backup winner because i feel like every time i do this people don't claim it so let's go ahead and get started the winner is a Niner for life, 661. I've had no kind of luck on Robert through five blasters. Sure would be nice to win. You did win a Niner for life, 661. Send me an email. My email is linked down below. You'll win the Luis Robert. But in case you don't claim it, you have 24 hours to claim this. Um, if you don't claim it, if you don't see this, uh, we're going to pick another winner. And that is going to be... Good luck to you all. Backup winner is going to be Costa Rica Card Breaks. Is pulling fire, man. Unbelievable. Two Roberts. Love that card. Hard to get down here in Costa Rica. You are the backup winner in case a Niner does not claim it. Congratulations, you guys. Uh, this is definitely a very, very popular card right now. So appreciate you guys for all watching, commenting, and participating in the videos. Hopefully, we'll do another auction sometime this week, or maybe we'll rip open a different product. But um, that is all I have for you guys tonight. I appreciate you for being in here and uh, also for watching all the videos and commenting. So until next time, guys, take care.